Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today this is going to be a very very easy drawing. It's going to be the sign of the infinity. This infinity sign. Um, so I hope you like it and it's going to be a very easy drawing. So I will be using color pencils all throughout the drawing as well. And let's get started. So if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video every single day and along the way while I draw I also give you some fun facts about what I draw as well so you can learn something while you watch me draw So I'm going to just start off with the curvy line right at the front and then I'm going to draw the back one and then just finish it off and that will be it and just going to show you how I colored it and I will show you how it all looks at the end of this video as well for you to have a look at the full color drawing as well. And today to get the fun facts I will be reading thoughtcore.com. So thought co.com just to get the fun facts because I thought it has some interesting facts that I would like to share with you and to learn about myself as well. So infinity has its own special symbol which is what we are drawing today. The symbol sometimes called the Leminiscate uh, was introduced by um, clergymen and mathematician John Wallace in 1655. The word um, lemniscate comes from the Latin word lemniscus, which means ribbon. While the word infinity comes from the Latin word infinitias, which means boundless. They are all very fitting. And Zeno's paradox. So of all Zeno's paradoxes, the most famous is the Todis and the Achilles um, paradox. Uh, Todis challenges the Greek hero Achilles to a race, providing the Todis is given a small head start. The Todis argues he will win the race because as Achilles catches up to him, the Todis will have gone a bit further, adding to the distance. Um, but a simpler, in simpler terms, consider crossing a room by going half the distance with each stride first. You cover half the distance with half remaining. The next step is half of one half or a quarter. Three quarters of the distance is covered, yet a quarter remains. Next is one eighth, then one sixteenth and so on. Although each step brings you closer, you never actually reach the other side of the room. Or rather, you would after taking an infinite number of steps. So there you go, another perspective. Pi as an example of infinity. So another good example of infinity is the number pi or uh, the symbol pi or the just pi pi. Mathematicians use a symbol for pi because it's impossible to write the number down. Pi consists of an infinite number of digits. So there's pi day, I'm sure you know that, March 14th, uh, 3.141592 and it goes on forever. Um, so for pi, uh, and it is impossible to write the numbers down. So pi consists of an infinite number of digits. It's often rounded to 3.14 or even 3.14159, yet no matter how many digits you write, it's impossible to get to the end. So that's an infinite number as well. So going back to the drawing, now we're in the coloring stage. I used uh, blue, green, and lighter shade of green for the infinity sign. And then I'm also adding in a little bit of a background. So I will show you all that in a bit. 
and the full color drawing i really hope you like it and if you have any fun interesting facts that you would like to share about the infinity sign or if you have jewelry or anything with it and and you like it let me know in the comments below and if you have any requests for me to draw for next time as well let me know in the comments below and i will draw that for you for next time in my upcoming videos so there's another theory the monkey theorem one way to think about infinity is in terms of the monkey theorem according to the theorem if you give a monkey a typewriter and an infinite amount of time eventually it will write Sp shakespeare's ham hamlet while some people take the theorem to suggest anything is possible mathematicians see it as a evidence of just how imp improbable certain events are so i hope you are finding these facts interesting and i know they are um, like it makes you think when you read about these things but i find it very interesting and i find it very enjoyable to learn all these things so i hope you do as well and let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying the fun facts that you're um, hearing about today and like i said i got this from thought co thought co com if you want to go and check those out as well So on the drawing now, we are done with the coloring part of the um, drawing um, of the object, the infinity sign. I'm just adding in the background now and I'll show you how the full color drawing looks like. So um, there are other fun facts on this website as well. Um, infinity is boundless, yet it comes in different sizes. The positive number, those uh, greater than zero and the negative numbers those smaller than zero may be considered to be infinite sets of equal sizes. Yet, what happens if you combine both sets? You get a set uh, twice as large. As another example, consider all the even numbers, an infinite set. This represents an infinity, half the size of all the whole numbers. Another example is simply adding one to infinity. The number infinity plus 1 is greater than infinity. There you go. And uh, if you think about the cosmology, cosmology study of the universe and the ponder infinity, does space go on and on without end? This remains an open question. Um, even if the physical universe as we know it has a boundary, there is still the multiverse theory to consider. That is, our universe may be but one in an infinite number of them. So, it's never, it's, there's no right answer for this one uh, when it comes to um, space. Um, you don't know, there's a lot more to discover. So those are some fun facts that I thought were very interesting. Um, and if you divide um, by zero um, in ordinary mathematics, it's a no-no. But in the usual scheme of things, the number one divided by zero cannot be defined. It's infinity. It's an error code if you try it on a calculator. However, this isn't always the case. In extended complex number theory, 1 over 0 or 1 divided by 0 is defined to be a form of infinity that doesn't automatically collapse. In other words, there's more than one way to do math. That's directly out of the website. So I just read that for you. And there are some other interesting facts as well if you want to go to this website and read about them. Um, there are eight infinity facts. Um, that you can learn about there as well. So this is a very cool sign 
to draw and I know a lot of people have uh, jewelry and things like that as well so I'm just going to show you the full color drawing so this is the full color drawing of the infinity sign I really hope you like it and if you do don't forget to hit that like button and leave a comment for me and if you would like to buy products with this on don't forget to check out my Redbubble shop link in the description box below for products I have so many and infinity sign is a really cool sign to have products with um, so I hope you love those products on my Redbubble shop as well and now I'm gonna put some next videos for you to check out next I really hope you like them and um, I bring a video every single day so don't forget to subscribe to my channel by hitting on that face logo right there and um, I really hope you have a great day today and as always I will see you tomorrow bye